Hello. Testing one, two, three, four, five. So uh, I started gaming when I was four years old. Gamers tend to have a certain, different eye for almost everything. The norms in which people abide by each day differ from a gamer's point of view, in which the slightest details can have a specific meaning to those with a gaming background. I'm studying interior architecture. I've chosen this major because of a game. At first, uh, it was called The Sims, and it made me realize how much I love decorating and I love that. I'm a media and communication student at UB. Uh, I'm a photographer, video editor. Uh, because of games, I'm more attentive to details um, and it helped me with photography. And I love graphics in uh, video games and how they are realistic. Where roads are laps in racing games, random boxes in random places, those are mystery boxes, probably containing weapons and ammunition. Unless you're a noob, you'd probably end up with nothing. Finally, some teens on the sidewalks would probably remind you of street gangs in GTA. Don't run them over, you wouldn't want a war in the hood. I think someone is violent uh, because of a lot of different factors in their life but of course not games games are an escape they're a way to express yourself so uh, express the anger so i don't think it is the cause of aggressivity or uh, someone being violent aggression lasts only for 15 minutes and fades out so people can't be uh, aggressive because of games uh, we compared the sales of the games when they are first published and the criminal rates. And when a game is released, the criminal rates decrease. So people are releasing their aggression into the games instead of the real world. Sometimes a game can leave a mark in us, especially those old arcade games like Super Mario Bros. The iconic legend of the 80s where gamers and non-gamers played and loved it. Bioshock Infinite. In the game, uh, the whole structure was built in the sky, so it was like uh, somehow a heaven on earth. I would love to live there. Uh, there's a game called Detroit Become a Human. Um, it's a game with amazing graphics and amazing storyline and amazing characters. Um, in the game, you have different choices. So you can choose uh, one choice and if you didn't like the outcome, you can go back and change it completely. So you can change your life um, based on the choices you make. There are tons of game genres like action, puzzle, adventure and strategy each of different scheme of settings, storyline and graphics. My favorite type of games are survival games and uh, puzzles, uh, horror games, zombie games. <laughs> <laughs> zombie games, I <laughs> thought so. Yeah. That is what's so great about games, each of different outstanding mood and creative storyline not to forget about the graphics that keep improving year by year. I play video games almost every day, sometimes multiplayer with uh, my friends online. I also love watching other people playing uh, the same game and to see their reaction and, um, and their own theories. Um, I watch Jack Jacksepticeye, he's a YouTuber. He has the same taste as me, so he likes graphics and games and sound design. People don't get why we're so overwhelmed with this, and we don't get why they cannot be. 
It's not about just playing the game, it's about the work that's put into it, the messages it gives, the mood it offers, the story it tells. It gives us an idea about the creative process people go through in the making of this game. Think about how powerful the game is, if it affects you. You know the drill. Get to the nearest safe house and wait until dawn. Good night.